Little Richard Perriman was born in Macon, Georgia in 1935. He was a natural born singer and musician. As a teenager with church music background, Little Richard won an RCA contest in Atlanta in 1951 and got a recording contract. From there, he went to Houston and to Don Roby's Peacock label in 1952. By 1955, he was without a label and back in Macon again, washing dishes in the Greyhound station. And while he was washing the dishes in the kitchen, he wrote, Good Golly, Miss Molly and Long Tall Sally. His boss was giving him a hard time and pil piling up the pots and pans and dishes, and he turned to him and says, Wham, bam, boom, bam, the wham, bam, boom. Tutti Frutti. Well, Richard was a great influence on many artists, including Bobby Darin and several of the British rock stars. He personifies the outrageousness that is the heart of rock and roll, and although, and now although he's recovering from an automobile accident, cannot be with us tonight, we are pleased to see his wild energy on this film. To induct Little Richard into the Hall of Fame, it is my pleasure to introduce a lady who is the grand dame of American popular music, whose sophisticated, yet simple and sensitive music has reached every corner of the globe. The lady who, when I first met her, was a young school teacher in Washington, and who has been since then a very important person in my life, the great Miss Roberta Flack. Thank you very much, Ahmed, for letting me be a part of this wonderful, splendiferous moment. It's such a thrill to be here with my friends, and I'll call some names in case you don't know who's here. Yoko Ono is my friend, and Quincy Jones, and Phil Ramon, and Pat Austin, and Paul Schaefer, and Will Lee, and all the guys on the stage. All of my heroes are being honored tonight with the exception of some people whose names I'd also like to call Tina Turner, Big Maybell, Laverne Baker, Janis Joplin. Maybe next year will be the year for women. Some of my heroes are here tonight in the flesh and that represents a real kind of excitement for me. I know Richard Penniman, little Richard, and I want to say as a musician that we all do our best to make music, and some of us try a little harder. We want to make a contribution, and little Richard has done that successfully. He not only has made an important contribution to our musical culture and our history, but he has made a big difference. Good music lasts forever and ever, and Little Richard's music has made such a strong impression on all of us. We dance to it, hum along with it, we've been affected by it. Some of us have been bodacious enough to even try to sing his songs. Little Richard's art, can you picture me singing Tutti Frutti? Tell the truth. Little Richard's art is honest and true, and as such, it cannot be denied. Richard Penniman, a courageous, daredevil, determined, secure performer, is very special to me. He is very special to all of us. Wherever he is tonight, we want to extend our love and our appreciation for all he has given to us and our hopes for his very speedy recovery from the accident that he endured. It's my pleasure, my very distinct pleasure, to present him with the trophy 
that inducts him into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And here to accept on his own behalf is a message from Little Richard. Hello, my name is Little Richard. You've heard me through the years. The original rock and roll singer. Gentlemen, this young man is Marvin Blackman, and he happens to be the brother in law of Little Richard, and he will accept on his behalf. I'd like to say what Richard would say if he was here first, giving honor to God who saved him in this accident, and you for your many prayers and cards. <clears throat> Richard is still recuperating, and at, uh, he's unable to walk at this present time. Richard would like to thank the recording industry for the induction of his name into the Hall of Fame and all the other originators. Thank you.